Ugh. <laughs> Ow, I hit my funny bone. I heard that I raised, all the way over uh, here. It's because I raised my fist to I a heard child. That you saw that. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Deborah. And this here is Frank wearing his green uh, little clover on his hat. Yeah. Um, Kelly Green. green for, and I have on green. I had on green yesterday. We're environmentally. Now, I mean, with this, uh, the, with our lighting, I look like I'm wearing real dark, but there's a, a polo shirt under here. I wear polo at school. I don't know if that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, you can hardly see it. Yeah. Polo. Uh, what is it called? A collared shirt? I don't know. A collar tee? Polo has to be just some sort of slang. A brand. It has to be. Because even the brand polo. So the brand polo by Ralph Lauren. P-O-L-O. No, actually, I don't know, though. I don't know. And I'm going to tell you why. I think it might be called, be called a polo shirt, even not if it's by polo by Ralph Lauren, because polo, just the same as a rugby shirt, the uniform like, it's of a polo player. What, what, what's, what's Frank wearing right now? He's wearing a baseball hat. He's wearing a baseball hat. Mm-hmm. What else would you call it besides baseball hat? Oh, uh, yeah, like a brim, a uh, sports brim. <laughs> that's a, I think polo in polo matches, it was back in a refined time, mm-hmm. right? That's, that's old school. It's England. And they yeah, couldn't polo wear their... They couldn't is, wear... Um, pol- it's, it, people are vaccinated now for that. That's polio. Okay. Um, they couldn't wear their button-ups... But it's a gentleman's game. What are you, not, what are you gonna wear? Undershirts? A t- and show your neck. T- t-shirts are without under- your necktie. T-shirts are undershirts. You know. So they said we are going to make an athletic gentleman's shirt, and we are going to call it the polo shirt. Yes. Not the baseball hat, but the <laughs> polo shirt. And would you wear a polo hat with your polo shirt? But I wouldn't be a polo hat. Yeah, it would. I think it's a helmet. Oh, uh, you've seen them. I thought that's just like a horseman's helmet. No, that's your polo hat. But don't they wear the same helmets when you see like the girls jumping over the uh, the sticks? When does a polo player not wear a polo shirt? When he's taking a shower. When it's water polo. You were very close. Oh, uh, wow. I knew there was water involved. Shirts come off. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? It's a beautiful day. Um, It's not. It's been raining forever. And I know we don't talk about weather anymore. After we got canceled. We're forbidden. <laughs> we're forbidden. We got canceled for it. But... uh. You know, it's, the weather channel. it's uh, still the effects of Hurricane Raining, Ian. I know. And um, and the rain just In different years, it might have been snow. Different years? Oh, you know, it's October. Yes. We're, we're getting yeah, towards Halloween. We had it. We had a snowy October one year. It's in October. I think that happened... 2008. From another hurricane. Yeah. Sandy. Oh, sorry. The weather disturbance of... Remember, she wasn't allowed to be called Sandy or he. Sandy could be a boy's name. Um, because remember Sandy, it didn't qualify. It went, it went, it, it went down from a hurricane. Her, only hurricanes have named. What was it called? It was like wait, it, Superstorm. Superstorm Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> Superstorm. I should have been Sandy today. Yeah, Superstorm Sandy. Superstorm. We didn't know we were going to say that. So n- I know today is Thursday, and um, tomorrow is Friday, which yes. we do Doctor Seuss Friday. Maybe. But I was. We've cl- given false promises. Before. I was in class today, and let me tell you, these kids were the worst. <sighs> they were so. They were. Talk about terrible I, twos. I, maybe? I, 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 I should have just put on Croak and Crow, um, walk through Thursday for them. <laughs> no, of, of where it said, Forgive Pace, you, for, love your patients, forgive them for they know not what oh, they do. That one because I was ready to wring each and every one of their necks. Oh, not my really. Gosh. I love these kids, I wouldn't do that. But me and and my co host Gloria were both at, at our, our wits' end. Were they? I got punched in the face from a kid was punching other kids in the face, and so I said. Hey, How? Who taught him that? I don't know. Uh, the the video games? No. No, he, uh, I feel bad for him. He, I know. He doesn't I know, have to go he, there. He doesn't know how to handle his emotions. Oh, poor thing. I have to go there. And so when that happens, it's you have to, like, it's, uh, you can't, you, you don't want to be hard, too hard on a two-year-old because they don't know why they're getting in trouble. Of course not. So you go, you would do what they call avoidance. So you have to avoid the situations rather than think that, you're the first adult who can tame right. two-year-olds. Right. Especially when it's not your child. Yeah. And so I put him on my lap and I said, you're with me, pal. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stronger than you. I'm not going to tell you, like, discipline you. But 
you're sitting with me. We're not going to hit we're, people. We're going to watch the movie together. Right. And he started flailing and got a good one right in my eye. I'm like, ah! <laughs> and I'm like... I'm sorry. And I'm like, oof. If you were 24 years older... Ah. <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> if this was 2026... No, 2000. If this was 2046, I was gonna say you're gonna beat up the kid in four years. No, nah. yeah, six years, six year olds, <laughs> they can get it. Yeah, because in the Catholic Church, it's the it's the age of reason. Six. Two? six. Oh, because yeah. that's when you get your com- your communion. You can, you can say I will be I will be um yeah following these rules of um I was going to say something before before all that schism. but um was it about school? Why did I bring school up? Oh, the kids were so bad. <sighs> Yeah. And I said, why did I bring up the kids were so bad? I said, oh, the kids were so bad today. I know. I don't know. It'll come back to me. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was a rough one. Um, but it was fine. I, I got through it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you weren't bored. No, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. No, definitely not bored. It makes time pass. But I never mind when, when they're really bad because... I always think, I know we talked about teachers yesterday. Check out the teachers podcast. It was National Teachers Day. but um, it, World. It was World, Not Teach, National. World Teachers Day. The world is bigger than America. No, it's not. <laughs> Everyone tunes off. And I all, oft think, man, uh, how lucky am I? Relative. Yeah. <laughs> no, how lucky am I? You know, like uh, with working out or a boxing match. Mm-hmm. When it's like you train harder than what's going to happen. Yes. In the real world jungle, the concrete jungle, when will you have 12 two-year-olds to wrangle? No. Never. Right. Imagine them being with one two-year-old. Right. It would be, ha-ha. Oh, I, yes. I, I, I laugh at, at the idea of this right. being a tantrum. Right. So how lucky am I? Yeah, to, like you're to, like running with weights on. Yeah. I'm so running, when the I'm big running, day comes, running you, with weights on. you're just... Fleet footed. <clears throat> Fleet and Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's Thursday, a great day. It's I was heading into Halloween. Um, do you know what you want to be at this year? I said we were gonna be um the we're gonna be the dancers from Walk Through Thursday's intro. Uh, yeah, you did say that. Um I kind it's, of, it's kinda of subtle for people, but <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I wanna be. I want you to be a big giant crow. I know what I wanna be. But there's a couple of reasons why I'm not sure. I want to be the the Queen of England. Okay. I think it's very doable. Oh well, yeah. Uh, you know, white a pastel and, outfit. But I don't want it to be disrespectful. But it's also like it is a funny costume, so it's mm-hmm. not disrespectful. If I get you a big crow costume, will you get in it? Yeah. Mm. When we're like, we'll run. Oh, and you should get a big frog costume. Yeah. And thinking. we'll just run through <laughs> neighborhoods, and people will say, like I got a, a. Oh, crow and crow sighting. Yeah, it's like um, what's the art? Moving art? Oh yeah, performance art. Performance art, and like we're not going to advertise it, Mm-mm. so like it's going to take deductive reasoning Ooh, to make it, it make be, sense. It could be a beyond Halloween thing where like you know when, when there's live news events and stuff and you, the people are in the back, yeah, yeah. and there goes that croak and crow again. Remember? Yeah, and we'll, we'll have there goes it. that news van. That's a local reference, and we'll have your car in the area. Okay, so it'll like it'll because people love. You know when people watch movies, they do their uh, their fan theories. Yeah. So people love when they have to do a little work. Right. So one person will say a car that says crow and crow. They're like, wait, frog crow crow crow. I saw that. And then it'll they'll start spreading it. It right. will never spread from us. It'll spread from them. Of course, that's the best way. It's the only way. And um and even funnier that we're not really based on on a, a, a reptile and a bird we're because not. those words can mean so much. <laughs> Oh, I mean, they <laughs> would take too long to get into it. Yeah, that's why after two years we've never explained it. Right, but yeah, it, it is it is a visual cue of the title. There's going to be like a grand finale episode yeah. <laughs> of, of why this entire time we were Crow and Crow. I'm I should really build a really big manuscript of meaning. Yeah, oh, I'm sure that you was could. never there uh, in the you, beginning. You can always do that. Yeah, but um, yeah, let's get into it. There's some exciting stuff. Thursday is a uh, is a day that. We don't chit chat as much because we have real stuff to talk about. Not that we don't always. It is Thursday, baby girl. And boy who punches people in the face. Ugh. <laughs> Ow, I hit my funny bone. I heard that I raised, all the way over uh, here. It's because I raised my fist to I a child. That. You saw that. 
That's, that's karma. God swift. All right, guys. It is um walk through Thursday. Roll, Roll the, the intro, intro please. please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is walk through Thursday. Simply the greatest day of the week. And what we do on walk through Thursday is we open up the Bible. Bible's open. Once the Bible's open, we go through the books of the Bible, all 63 or something like that of them. And we pick a single year verse out of one of these books. And we give it a little spotlight. It's a little, you know, a little spotlight search on the old Mac. Yeah. You want to pick out one thing? Oh, and, yeah. I love that. Yeah, a little I'm magnifying glass. Big fan of the old spotlight. No, it's a flashlight. You're thinking of windows. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> this is this is this is spotlight. It's a magnifying glass, and um, yeah, we, we just give it some spotlight for the day. Uh, everyone knows what Christian values are. Everyone knows Jesus's main themes, but there's a lot of intricacies. And and for those who don't read the entirety of the Bible, there's a lot of uh, or don't go to Bible studies every week. There's um. A lot of value that is yet to be had. Consider yourself lucky if that's the case. Because then it's like... Uh, he, a lot of people make fun of me for my music and, and movie. I'm both. Um, disability. That's a shame. Because I'm the same way with both. I find things I like. Usually they're mainstream. And I'll re- I want to stick with... you know If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh. And then I have movie buff friends and music buff friends. Oh, they want you to who are like, branch out. They want me to like... You're missing so much other stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. But I always see it as a plus because I'm like, how sad is it that you've seen everything already? When you give yeah, me true. a recommendation of your best movie, I'm seeing it with fresh eyes, even though it came out in 1922. <laughs> so, similar to that. But, um, <laughs> yeah. If you followed that th- that thread of thinking, it's very similar to that. So, what book are we reading from? There you go. We are reading from the most badass book of the Bible. The book of Judges. A lot of gnarly stuff happened in Judges. Did it? Well, I, think, I think there was like stones being thrown on heads and um, battles and wars. And Well, in the original Hebrew, Judges is Shofet and it translates roughly to chieftains. Yeah. It was like the, the general. It was like the uh, big men in charge. Okay. Because it skipped through the lineages in that one. Like, okay. I think in a lot of the other books, like you, know, you focus on Moses or you focus on Samuel. David judges is like, let's do a time jump. We had this guy to this guy to this guy to this okay. guy. I think. Um, all right. So we're reading judges five, eight to nine. All right. Okay. You following? Good. Cause we're gonna get into it. Now, is this a new international version? Sure. Uh, yeah. Always. No, okay. not always. <laughs> I don't know. We have that one podcast. Frequently. I know. Um, you know what? Yeah. Th- yeah. Because I would have written something. All right. It's new. And it's NIV. Oh, I remember what I was said all this time ago. Okay, say it. Oh, f- thank you, judges. <laughs> thank you, judges. It made me think about it because I was about to start reading. Don't lose it. I won't lose it. Oh, no. Um, the kids were being bad. I was trying to corral them. There, there was ma- mania. It, it was no corralling. They were screaming. They were running. Half of them were excited screaming. The other half were getting like bulldozed, run over, and screaming, crying. It was a mess. And then I saw a book on the floor that just shined like a balloon at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> a and balloon? A oh, du- a doubloon. A okay. Du- a doubloon. <laughs> Balloons do not belong in the ocean. No. Especially at the bottom. And um, it was Fox and Socks. Oh. Dr. Seuss. It's not Dr. Seuss Friday, but it was Fox and Socks. Arguably, actually not arguably, self-proclaimed by Dr. Seuss himself to be the most tongue twister, twister, tongue Dr. Seuss book there is. And I had a little ace up my sleeve. So you were happy to see it. I was happy. A lot of people would be scared to see it. If, you know, like uh, Fox and Socks to a lot of people is like the Annabelle doll. (laughs) If that shows up in there, they're they're like, oh my gosh. Right. And then the kid's walking towards you with it. It feels like, it feels like a bomb. Yeah. I accepted the challenge and I, and I got, I captivated those young minds with my silver tongue. I said fox and box and clocks and docks and drocks and drocks and knocks and socks. D- do's and boos and crews and slews and news and foos and twos and do's. Mm, I d- can't stop you. I did it all. And I had their attention for a good th- five minutes without e- any screaming. Judges 5, 8 to 9. Let's read it. <clears throat> 
God chose new leaders when war came to the city gates, but not a shield or spear was seen among 40,000 in Israel. Deborah's heart is with Israel's princes, with the willing volunteers among the people. Praise the Lord. This is why we do walk through Thursday. Is that he's as easy as Fox and Socks? This is why we do walk through Thursday because I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. So trying to get books on our walk through Thursday playlist that we haven't um, done before. Okay. So Judges is one of those books. I did choose this a while ago. <laughs> and so when I pulled it out of the grab bag for today, I'm just trying to get caught up with what's going on with it. Um, But you're going to do just fine. Just to let you know that um, you were talking about judges and what it was and so forth. It's also known as the book of unlikely heroes. And because in the book of judges, you have um, Deborah and Jael, J-A-E-L, Deborah and this other woman work together to kill um, a army uh, captain uh they're women first like because you don't think of women as warriors samson was gullible and had a weakness for women jephthah was a bandit son of a prostitute and ehud was left-handed back then that was something that wouldn't make you a hero <laughs> um but anyway so by by this um unlikeliness of these hero qualities it reminds us how god can use anything for victory mm. and so you know, when we talked a lot of times in different podcasts about, you know, the victory is not yours completely. God, you were able to do it because yeah. of God. Well, y- y- yeah. And he could even do it with um, a housewife. So. Even with a housewife. <laughs> Deborah yeah. is known as a female military leader. Oh. But she like. Progressive. But because she made herself one. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like she took it in her own hands yeah um the the song of deborah i think we read song or yeah song of hannah in a a different uh, at a different time in this channel but this is song of deborah and it is considered to be um one of the oldest books one of the one of the bible's oldest texts this is the like the five eight to nine is deborah song deborah yeah i mean if all of five probably yeah song of deborah is five um one of the Bible's oldest texts. It's also that it's also believed that she wrote it. So she had a victory over um, a, over someone who was killing the Highland tribes, and then she wrote this um, kind of telling the story and also praising God. The very last line, praise of, the Lord of ju- of yours is praise the Lord. But the very last line of the whole thing is um, that. So may all your enemies perish, Lord, but may all who love you be like the sun when it raises in its strength and the land had peace 40 years. Right. So that's the very last end of the line. So it's, it's, it's her story. Um, so Deborah, she recruited a man, Barack. From Hussein really- Obama? <laughs> Barack is, is a Hebrew name and it means lightning um, to stand by her side. And she told him that. Uh, God wanted the armies of Israel to attack the Canaanites because they were persecuting them. Um, so she she acted as this this lightning rod, really. Yeah. You know, for this to happen. Um, and you, it's an interesting story. You can read Judges five. Um, it talks about her doing this, her recruiting him, her, him going out. But the true um, the true hero of the story is Jal. Um, this and, so, and you don't have to read this whole thing because it's so long. But like I said, you can read all of Judges five at some other time. Hey, this is what I was talking about. Really? Yeah. When? This is that cool Judges thing where she crushed his head. Oh yeah, <laughs> with the tent peg. Yeah. 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 Right. So. Most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber the Kenite. Most blessed of tent dwelling women. He asked for water and she gave him milk. In a bowl fits for nobles, she brought him curdled milk. He hand, her hand reached for the tent peg, her right hand for the workman's hammer. She struck Sisera, she crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. At her feet he sank, he fell, there he lay. At her feet he sank, he fell. Where he sank, there he fell, dead. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to really underline that. <laughs> so that's Deborah and 
jail. Oh, some badass. Okay. So with all of that said, all my background, now you can just, um, you can maybe use your own reasoning of why I picked those two verses that you have before you out oh. of the whole entire, because we, we're not going to do the whole song. We have we have two verses from the song. Oh, we don't have a song? No. Okay. Um, God chose new leaders when war came to the city gates, but not a shield or spear was seen among, among 40,000 in Israel. Now, let me repeat that. Okay. God chose new leaders when he when war came to the city gates, but not a shield or spear was seen among 40,000 in Israel. Well, if I just go by what I was saying earlier, you know, to choose a woman, she did use her 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 womanly wiles more than he didn't choose a like she 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 recruited Barack, but um is it the unlikely hero story again? God chose new leaders. You know, God chose her and Jal to carry out this important task um, as opposed to what you would expect or what you would think. Like, you would think I'll never be chosen or I'm not the one or I don't have what it takes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I think it's like, especially at the time, it's, you see so many times where it's like, um, especially in sort of like a contrast to like a Samson where it's, he had the strength, but he was gullible. So it's like, you could still see, okay, well God cho- chose him to give him this strength. Right. And it's like God chosen, chose new leaders. Um, and when, when the war came, but there was no, not a, like there was no warrior warrior. Right. If you will. Right. Like, and it's, I think that's what a lot of judges is, is what you're saying. It, it, it's, getting different types of people and so it's like you have samson and then it's like his gullibleness but he was still chosen or or even it was just uh his fallibility the achilles, an achilles heel right um because a lot of a lot of it is saying that they're normal they're not normal people but like they're humans with the faults right and so now it's like with with her uh it's talking about it, it's Ooh. war came to the gate and yeah the immediate thing you think is Who's God going to choose? He's a, a, a David who, who was able to, you know, scalp 50,000 50, scalps. And it's like, wow, well, you know, he's there ready to go. But with her, it, it's, wait, what? How are how are we going to win then? Right. How, it doesn't make sense. Everyone knows to win a war, the leader needs right, to be Right, because, it, you know, if, shield if and we sparing. do run down to 24, you know, then you have Jal who is not... Your, your, your conventional warrior and and she defeats him with not a conventional weapon you know she had a hammer and a, and a uh, tent peg yeah um all right now second part deborah's heart is with israel's princes with the willing volunteers among the people praise the lord um so yeah one thing so wait, what's israel's princes well who knows her her song is probably super um superly close to the actual battle because like we said it's a, it's a very old text and she wrote it after this happened yeah so um if her heart is with the people you know israel with the people yeah, with yeah the, and, and just as like for us it could mean something different and like like i liked how they put heart because it's like sort of that is her weapon right like it's not deborah stands with her with the princes it's deborah's heart is in the right place I, you know, and it's like, oh yeah, like, like yeah, that's exactly. And, and so, like, how are you going to win without a shield or a spear? What is your weapon? It's like, well, Deborah's heart is her weapon, and Deborah's yes. Deborah's heart is with the Israel princes, right? And this next part of nine is with the willing volunteers among the people. So that's like obviously, you know, then she had, she rallied it. Whether you said it was when she got someone to get right. someone, but I like the willing volunteers. It's even underlined here, and I'm sure on. BibleGateway.com, you can see some notes about that. But right. it's not, once again, it's not a king and army. Oh, right. You're not, it's not a draft. It's not forcing. It, it, yeah, Who it, wants it, to it's do It's not, yeah. well, you're in my, you're in the king's army. Of course you're going to mm-hmm. fight. It's her heart was in the right place and these willing volunteers were with her. And then finally, obviously, bring it all together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because. Because it was him, not me. Yeah, you know, um, she could have gotten a big head, and she could have, she could have taken a little power trip, and uh, yeah. she could have said, 
what else can I do now? Yeah. What, what other, who else can I topple? Because, yeah. because, um, you know, the, the song that she wrote and this song that survived this poem, this, this, uh, accounting, um, is very flowery, very, um, excessive with the adjectives. Um, like she wrote for a different a place in the story that the, um, the, the battle was a total victory. The stars strayed from their courses and the rivers washed away the rest of his army. So it is so grandiose in explanation. Yeah. But then it's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice little sentiment. Like, it, and like it's not even too much. It's not like going in too depth of like, but it's, it's just saying praise it. Like he, he was there with me. He, he's who got me here. Um, I'm, I kind of like that kind of like speech. I'm a little envious of um, in Islam. You always hear like inshallah or like um, they'll say other little sayings yeah. like that. But I think inshallah is just God willing. I, I get my stuff. Uh, and everything. Yeah, just God willing. But they'll they'll say these little like and, and it, it's just this end, like a, a very end of a sentence, just putting God into it. To keep remembering. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's like, um, oh, like it, it would be so, something simple as like, I really hope I, I get that God get that, get that job and right. or no like yeah you know, like I I think I I think I did really good on my math test it's like inshallah and obviously that's like I, I you know what I'm trying to say yeah absolutely and, and it's like you are proud of yourself and yeah. like you study you did it but then it's just almost a subconscious like well everything's done through him right and it's sort of this like nothing was really biblical about line eight through nine we've, we've seen some songs and stuff that is just all praising god right which is great yeah but this is her t- recapping a story right. of what she did and it starts with god chose new leaders and it ends with praise the lord and everything in between is what she did right and i think that's like the importance of it and you know it's one of the reasons she got picked and goes back to her heart being with israel's princes like also the like god was in her heart and right that is stronger than any Shield or spear, I would argue. Yeah. So we have these well-known female um, heroines, the good kind of heroine <sighs> in the Bible, which is... Chippewa, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> Looking at you. Deborah and Jal. Um, but there's also Barack in the story. Barack, who is a, um, a general. You have this woman, and you know, you can see anywhere that it says that the women aren't really considered anyone you should really be listening to for for army um, maneuvers she tells him god wants this to happen and he trusts her like joseph trusted mary you know and uh so barack which i hardly hear about that person but general barack gets a shout out yeah you know what now there should be two i think two things are, are there's a thing that is twofold one in the in the Bible and stuff, you know, women of the Bible very important, and then I, w- I would say now I don't want to say equally important, different importance that you hear less. You don't really hear about women in the Bible. You hear about this less, the men who took a step to let the women because and that might seem like oh we're gonna praise get people for doing what they should. It's like well, yes actually like because it was highly unusual. It, it was highly time. unusual yeah. and and it shows their character too. And, right. Uh, like uh, in the story of, um, we saw the play Ruth. Yes. In Ruth, there was the guy. No, we uh, saw Esther. Esther. <laughs> there is um, what's his name? Bar uh, Bar Bartimus. I can't Bar- remember exactly. But... <laughs> but I know. See, you're I, right. Exactly. But how, I remember Esther. Oh how my pivotal gosh. was he in that story? Right. Was she the main person? Yes. But did he have a lot to do? No, with you're right. Putting of uh, teaching her to be yes independent have like always looking out for her right. and pushing her to do what um she needs to be doing instead of he could have shushed her up and been like just be one of the queen's women that's it right. no he was looking out for his people and she was and he was like you're the one to do it not me like prince philip and your queen elizabeth portrayal on halloween <laughs> amen to that all right guys we'll be back tomorrow for our Dr. Seuss Friday. I'm all. I'm all ready. I already had a little practice Fingers this week. Fingers crossed. It's not Fox my and gang socks signs, and box but... and docks and crocs and mocks and locks and socks. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>